As he grew up, he began to tell the difference. And wandering with his friends here and there, he saw the most beautiful girl. And something happened to him. Something happened to him that he could not quite understand. That is, that when he left that village, he felt separation. And he was drawn inextricably to this village over and over again to see this beautiful girl. He could not understand how his heart was being transformed. Why he cried when he did not see her. Why he longed to be with her. He did not know this. One day he approached a sagacious woman of the village. An aged woman in charge of those of, of that village and the pastimes in that village. And he expressed his heart to that elderly woman. And she said, My dear sweet boy, it sounds like you're in love. He said, Maya, what's love? She said, Love is something that you feel, a connection that you feel deeply with another person. That being separated from them gives you great dissatisfaction and happiness. But being connected with them and seeing them and being with them and thinking of them gives, gives you great joy. So much joy, in fact, that you long to be united with that person. So having given her definition of love, the boy then understood what he was feeling. It was only after the definition was given of love. The word love was given first. What do I feel, I? What do I feel, mother? She said, you feel something called love. And what is love? What is that love? Define that love. So she defined love. And in the definition of love, he found himself this young boy. And he began to play with his friends. His friends noticed the change. Him. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He says, Well, what's love? What's love? So he gave the same definition to them. And then when they heard that definition of love, they too understood what love was. But until the definition and the word were given, they did not understand what they were feeling or how to express that to others. Yesterday, Srila Gurudev gave four definitions. And he also gave two aspects of that love. The first was the definition of love. That is, that the unbroken cultivation of affection to Sri to Krishna, with all endeavors of the body, mind, words, and spiritual sentiments, which is not covered by knowledge aimed at impersonal liberation, or selfish, materially motivated activities, and whose only focus is to give pleasure to Sri Krishna, and which is beneficial for our Christian consciousness. This is called love. So this is the definition he gave. Brothers and sisters, we've been rotating in the material world for many, many millions of lives, searching for what is called love, but not knowing how to describe it, not knowing the word, and not knowing the definition. In Prayag, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met with Sri Rupa Goswami. And he gave him what is called by a bhakti of Asama, he simply gave him a bindu. He gave him a drop of the ocean of love of Krishna. Having given Sri Rupa Goswami a drop, Sri Rupa Goswami was sent to Sri Vrindavan Dham, where he took that drop and scrutinizingly analyzed it through what? Through the microscope, through the telescope, through his technical understanding through the Sri, Sri Haridam, and through serving Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These were the instruments through which he analyzed this drop of love that was given in Yag a sweet Having analyzed this drop, he felt competent and given the, given great love by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and great benediction, he took that drop and manifested the ocean once again. The ocean is called Sri Bhakti Rasama Dasindi. That means the ocean of pure love for Sri Krishna and pure affection. So Sri Dhaburi has done something very, very beautiful. He has taken these definitions that have been stored away. And he is now traveling the world and giving all of this. What am I feeling in my heart, Gurudev? What am I feeling? What have I been searching for life after life after life? So he says, love, which is praying. But this praying has been in this place. The sun of praying, the sun of love, Srimati is shining throughout every particle, everything and every particle of the universe. But when that love is transformed and transmuted through our, our bodies, through our intelligence, through our minds, it becomes transposed into something called lust. 
becomes very, very limited in its scope. And instead of loving the atma of another human being, we're forced to love the most superficial aspect of another person. Just imagine, we can all, we can all understand the analogy of a woman who has lots of money. Lots of money. And a man, he, he has a relationship with that woman and gets married for her for her money. For something that's totally different from herself. We all understand what a goal it is. That's what a goal it is. He's, he actually had a relationship with that person for something external, superficial. That is, her wealth. And having gained her wealth, he'll do anything. He'll kill her, he'll do anything. Because that's his, now his. This is the equivalent of loving body. Of loving the external aspect of the world. The superficial aspect of the world. This definition of love says that all love must be reposed back into the source of love. Which is God and Krishna. So that's the first definition. Must be uncovered by our own actions and also by our, our knowledge of God. The second definition he gave was in Sadhana. Are full in 
भगवत तत्व बट मोर फोर क्वालिटी रूप माधुरी रूप माधुरी मीन्स रूप माधुरी लीला माधुरी श्री कॉस्ट एंड एनी ऑफ द मैनिफेस्टेंट ऑफ कृष्ण इवन रामचंद्र नारायण निशिंग और दे कैन एट प्ले रॉस विथ सो मेनी गोपी इवन बाबा दिस कृष्ण ही कैन एट डू ही कैन एट लाइक कृष्ण तो रूप माधुरी लीला माधुरी वेम माधुरी ऑल कैन फाइट विथ एंड कृष्ण ओ हे विल टेक एनी वन हॉट बाई फ्रूट एंड पैका माधुरी इज ऑल एसोसिएट्स आर सो स्वीट सो कृष्ण इज शो पी सो ही इज प्रेम टूअर्ड विथ द प्रेम ऑफ एनी मन टूअर्ड्स कृष्ण इज प्रयोजन विशि आर यू There is so much of love and affection that Krishna accepted his service to serve Hari. All are serving Krishna, Ram, Nishinga, but Krishna is so sweet that he wants to serve his own. And he has promised, Ananya Chintayanto, Maan Ye Jana Pajupasu, Teshama Nitya Abhiyuktana, Jova Chema Vya Baha. What is the meaning? Kundrik is here, or he will see the dogs. Why? This verse in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna is stating that those who are exclusively devoted to me, Ananis Chintayantamam, that for them, whatever they are lacking, I provide, and whatever they already have, then I maintain them. Not good experience. Ananyas Chintayantra. They are only engaged. They are engaged their whole senses. More like Uttama Bhakti. And they don't think about his mentality, their mentality. Nothing. They are none other than Krishna. Only Shakti Krishna Dish. And not anything to maintain his body. They have no time at all to think all these things. No desire at all, except to serve Krishna. And if they have no time to maintain that time, then I go there to them to see what they need, how to maintain them. Hiring out this color. And then, oh, I maintain themselves. Carrying the things, objects, on my way, carry, on my soldiers. And personally, not by anyone other. 
Saudi Arabia has not no time to look after him. Look after his wife and children. You know, Krishna, what he is? He is trying the archery to Abhimanyu Deshant of Ali. What he is doing? He is a charioter. He is a charioter. And Ali gets order. And he follows order. Ali is a charioter. You should take my charioter. In the midst of the boats and people. What are you telling? Even horses are now toy. And then what did? Oh, it gave water to you. And he was messaging horses. Not are you? Are you tell that you? He was messaging his horses and made fresh. So even if there was dog, or Krishna can say that dog of Arjuna is real. You know? He could not repay Arjuna. Hanuman was serving. And Ram was pleased. But not so much. He was not controlled. And by Hanuma, uh, by Arjun, he was so much pleased. He became charioter. He was here. Horses made them serious. Also, he went to Shankar Mahadev, told that he would have to help Arjun because he would have to fight a big war. And he should own the race. So you should give all actually all qualities, all astra shastra. You may have understood. And he did. And he did order to Hanuman. Oh, you should always be with me on the chariots. And he was there. And he told not only to be. Oh, sometimes in dangerous times you should help Arjuna and say. So he said, so many times in Mahabharata. Also, he discovered a chariot and horses for and gave to Arjuna. By whom? Through fire. You know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and he told that, oh, it, your ban tarkas. Tarkas? In which? Yeah. Will not be empty any time. Never, never. You will take and it will fall. <laughs> For Karna and Dosatam and others, Vishnu Pitama. Oh, so many cards. So many cards. And you know that with the air of Vishnu Pitama, Arjun chariot was finished. Chariot was finished. But Krishna made them alive. And when war was finished, no need of chariot. Krishna told that, Oh, now you should get down. And then Arjun. Then Arjun told him, Fine, all you will be finished. Then simply you should get down. It's a fine one, tell you so. Oh, I'm sorry. No, follow my order now. And he came down from the chariot. And after that, Krishna came down. And what began? In the second leg was finished in a fall. Automatic. Why it began? Oh. It was finished, but in the first arrow of Vishampitam. But I can't. 
I kept in your horses and everything. I kept the Hanma among them. He always served you. So, what he did for Anishin? He gave a small one wife, uh, one sister married to Krishna, uh, Arjuna. You know? <laughs> Taking milk in one Sleeping on same power. But Krishna is not control. He showed his universal of everything. And, oh, Prabhu, I have done mistake. Our offenses. I will never tell you, Prabhu, Shaka. Uh, I have told all this entire thing. So I have made so many offenses. And you can put it in the forehead. All this pain. But, you know, up, uh, before that, when Krishna came to Mathura, and he told to Uddhav, what was it? Uddhav, Bhatsha, Vajamashamna, Tittarino, Prithima. Uddhav, you should go to Krishna. My father and mother, are meeting in Gita. They have become blind. One is scared time. Oh, their life is for one day, two days. They can die at once, at any time, any moment. Please go and assist her. And then he told, Oh, Gopinan what Bayogi Biyog Avati Matsang Day Shay Himu Oh also go to Gopis. My father and mother are like so that I told you. They are living bitterly, they are blind. They may die. But I don't know Gopis. That house separation, oh, top of separation, they are free. I don't know whether they are satisfied or they are not. Go oh, at once quickly. <coughs> they are feeling separation top most for them. So, you should go. Tamanmanashka. Always, what do you? Remember me. Remember me. For what? For their own purpose? No. Oh, they know that in Mathura there is none to know the heart of Krishna. Krishna is very shame. Very short. He cannot ask for no, bread and butter for anyone. Who is he? Oh, that is no. Jasoda Vidya, not even Rohini. So, to whom? And who will pacify Krishna? Who will serve Krishna? So, they are feeling separation so much. Mat prana, they are my life and soul. They are not for, told for him. Father, father, father. Not him. Mother, they take the right They have left everything. For body, what we want? Oh, they have left everything. Everything. Daya comments. Daya comments. So, you can't get a car, you can't get a car. So, 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 you can't get
and Malli. Oh, that beloved. Malli one. They are my most beloved. Prishtam Atmanam. Oh, even my soul, right there. They take the look. Dharmanscha Madhatitan Vibhadnam. That left their shyness. That left their Loka Dharma. Loka Dharma means? What are you doing? Worldly? Responsibility. Responsibility. Not only this. What they will tell? That, that, all these things. Why? For me. They don't disobey their parents. Why? For me. They have left their maintenance. Why? For me. Why must? Any house have them, maintain them. Dharyanti Adi Krishna. They are not happy. And anyhow, that Krishna will come tomorrow. If he will die, then Krishna may die. So they are not dying. Anyhow, they are maintaining their life. Mali, their life is लाइफ उनका बचा हुआ है केवल ये मैं कल आऊँगा इस पर बिकॉज़ कृष्ण है प्रॉमिस्ड ही कैन नॉट ब्रेक ही मस्ट कम तो तुम तुम्हारो के लिए कर तुम्हारो एंड दैट इन लाइफ दे हैव कैप्ट देयर लाइफ एनी हाउ I think that they have not kept their life myself because they have life in me. So I am maintaining. Otherwise they will not be finished. Go at once. And see whether they are loyal or not. If not that, then pacify you. And put the whole thing. He has not told anything like this to anyone. To Pandava, to Arjan, to uh, the fame of Satyabhama, Rukmini. Why? Because they are boundless, causeless love and affection for Krishna. And that is the object. That is most high. The love of Krishna, which was in Gopis, especially, you can know that, all the Gopis, like Lalita, Vishartha, Chitra, Champakrata, and all, Rukmanji. They were serving at that time, pacifying Radhika. Who can pacify? Who can? To whom? Radhika was totally mad, no sense at all. So other were pacified because they were in sense. No, Radhika and Shabha, all were in sense. Their love is so high, more than millions of Uddhava. So high. More than millions and more than Satyamama Rukmini. More than even the Shakti's of Vrindavan. But in comparison of Radhika, not so hard. So Radhika was totally mad. And with no shock. How many shock? In Brahmargi and Bhambhubi. Also, this Bhambhubi was Krishna. He went to Brazil, this is in form of Bhambhuvi. And he saw Radhika totally mad and she was sleeping in a bed of 
rose to our present. And it was joy. So much chandan was given. Cool. But even it was fire. See, by day or in life, oh, he could not imagine what he And she was sometimes very angry, more to Krishna. Criticizing Krishna. Abusing him. So, cheater. And ungrateful. Even Satyamana and all of us cannot tell Krishna like this. Oh, Mother Jasoda and Baba even cannot tell like this. That book is our day. Ungrateful. You are like bumblebees of six feet. More than any other. And when human form had two legs. And animals? And buddy, or like this, bumblebee, six legs. So they are more than any animal. Comparison him. Also many things. We don't have, don't want to have any relation with that black person, with black heart. Uh, black, like bumblebee. We know there was a ram, also black. And who was he? What we? He cheated Surpanaka and um, so there are some things. So Srimad Bhagavat is the explanation of the love of Radhika. Glory find Radhika's love. So the love in the Radhika is topmost. Oh this is the goal of whole world, living beings. They can receive like this. Never. But a drop that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to Rupa Goswami, endless ocean of nectar, of rasa, bhakti rasa. He gave one. And even one drop can sing whole world. Universe. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave this. If we can serve this gopi, especially to Radhika, then we can have a love affection for Krishna and then we can feel separation so much, otherwise, never and never. So, this is goal of all. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Goswami has and Srimad Bhagavad Sukhdev Goswami has in final touching they are going to conclusion that our goal is what? Krishna Prem but like whom? Oh my, like that. So Krishna told to Uddhav and now he knew that gopis had so much love and affection for Krishna. <laughs> but he had no experience still, not. No. He heard that gopis are most beloved of Krishna. Krishna is most beloved of gopis. He knew this thing. But how their love is, how tall, and in what way and what is that love? He had love for Krishna. Like, oh, he is my Prabhu. He is like my brother. He is like, oh, so many things. But not, Krishna is not uh, telling anything for how like so. What he is telling to the whole. Why? Oh, you should go and realize what is praying to me. In Mathura there is none like this God. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, out of his mercy, 
sprinkle a drop on our feet, telling to God. And this is our goal of life. Uthaven to Braja. I am telling all these things. Make it clear what is the goal. First. First make a goal. And then process. If there is no goal, what is process? If we say it has been gone. Nigama Kalupa Tarur Galitam Pana. Sukamukha Dayam Rita Dharma Sanam Jutam. Ivata Bhagavat Tarasama Jambu. Three slopes from beginning are explained in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Especially tenth canto is explained only Nigam Kalpata How Srimad Bhagavad Krishna is the ocean of flesh. So our object is all this love and affection for Krishna. Like gopis. Like to serve Radha. Like that. Now go when to get He has so much love and affection for Krishna. But a new thing, totally new thing for him. And when he kept his left, Left in Raja and he lived in the What he saw? He saw Krishna playing everywhere. All the Sakhas are playing with Krishna. Oh, millions of, millions of cows hankering after Krishna. And so much of big horse. And milk is and cups so beautiful, charming, white, black, and they are jumping here and there. Bulls, oh, big, big bulls of Nanda Baba. <laughs> what we? Fighting each other. And go be that? What? In the morning, he saw that she of morning. Oh, very beautiful lamps in Gopi's room of ghee. Not like this. <laughs> hey, that thing. And he, very, what? Snigdha. And so much fragrance coming. That is where some flowers. Bhagavad Gita is what doing? Honey. What? They were blowing the sun cloud on. Everywhere birds were singing, cuckoo birds and um, peacocks. Oh, what doing? Cake on, cake on, and dancing everywhere. Sukha are well like this, and all the gopis churning and doing. Govinda
Kalms are not going to graze. All meeting, tilting their head towards, eye towards, matu. Cows, meeting. They don't, they are not taking meal from the order of their mothers. All are meeting. Take up stone dance. All are like blind, blind. All like man for Krishna. They should be taught. And now it became even. Anyhow, he was entered and made me. He saw the love and affection of Mother Jasuda and Nanda Baba. And he saw. What? The struck drum? Drum struck. Drum struck. Oh, he can put that uh, image in how high class of love and affection can be. Now we realize something of oh, how high class of love and affection. But when he in the morning and he went to Kadampur, Kiyari, where all the gopis met and about to die there. Anyhow, by the mercy of Krishna he saw the gopis and he was there. And he saw and realized something. And for this thing Krishna has sent Buddha to go to Vrindavan. Try to be admitted in the school of Gopis, where I was admitted. And then you should return back and then I, we can speak something about love and affection. So go and be first qualified. But he was not qualified to be admitted in the school of because his numbers were um, about 25%. <laughs> And there they needed what? More than 85% numbers. So they rejected. <laughs> but he went there in this school and saw how oh, hey, high class of students are there and professors and principals were there. Like Ishata, like Lalita. And principal herself. And then he saw, and then he prayed, Bande and the Bridget Kistri Nam, Father Rainum of Hicksness, Jasam Harikoto Gita Punati. And now he knew the glories of gopis. How they love Krishna. They have never seen like him. And now he felt that if I want to love Krishna, then I must be admitted in this school. But I am not qualified. He requested gopis that if he was not admitting in your school, can you please take me like a sergeant to give water, like a sergeant to clean the school, college. Oh, that is like also. He was not with No. You should go and return back then, be qualified, and then you can do me here. Even you cannot do it. You, you cannot bring our queen here. Can we do What? So, <coughs> he was praying now. Bande Nanda Brije Istrina. Who are Nanda Brije Istrina? All the gopis, beloved of all gopis, of Krishna. Oh, I want to pray 
Ach, my son. I want to pray. I want to keep one even particle of your dust. Put that. If one particle can tell that particle of what feet a special gopi, then it must be of Srimatya. Brahma cannot attend this. Shankar cannot. Even Shaktabhama and all other cannot. So Krishna has sent him to see the glory of the gopi. Then he will tell. Same glory. He, he saw the Himalaya, the peak, highest peak, heaven, and he saw like this. He cannot become, could not become like that. He had to return back to Krishna, empty time. Mali, that Sunday is called that, what Sunday is called? And I said that, oh, I went there, what I saw, very strange, very wonderful. I cannot explain all this. You told, it is told through, more than you told. But I could not realize anything. So I had to return back. Vande Nanda Prajeshti Nam Padayam Apikshasa. Jasam Hari Kapoor Gita. What they have told that Brahma Gita. In Gopi Ghi, Jaya Kiti Dhikam. In this, Tava Katham Vritam, Tava Taji. In this thing. And if it will find more Yodivas, more Yodivas. If anyone recite, even they will remember this thing, what will be? Really, all the people. So you should try to uh, recite all these things. You should try to know all these things. Many are very deep, very deep. Swamiji, your Guru Dev, Srilamakti, Pranam Swami. Wonderful Guru, this, of very wonderful things, this object. But I could, could yesterday I told them. Hey, Why should you plant this? In bank land or no? Is that? Oh, he should make that land for time. Continue. And then he wanted. But in the meantime, oh Prabhu. Radhika called him. Oh, come at once, we need your service. So this is our name. Asha Maho, Chandareli Yusam. Asha Maho, Chandareli Yusam. Shyam, Vrindavane Kimat Gurma Lasao. Jagdus Vajan Hajvajan Aadha Pathan Chahitra Bhege Mukunna Padrin Chahitraji. If not of Radhika, let us see dust particle. Even anyone in Banda, Brajibo, and I will be satisfied. I don't want the dust of Krishna, let us see. If I want to please Krishna, then I will have to take a part of your goods. So I want your mercy. Always mercy. This is the point. And then we will come down the process told by Srila Rupa Goswami and Bhakti Nur Thakur, Vishnu Chapati Thakur, Narupa Same thing in new, new, new photos. But why we send? If you take that money, you must be mad. What is the... No. No harm. The 
color of bottles are different. different. No. But wine is not. So, we will explain. The process from beginning, Adho Sabda, then Sabda, Adho Sadhu Sangha, then Sabda, Anatta Nikiti, Rusi, then Asakti, and Rati Bhav, and after that, after that, no Sabda, no Sabda. Only the mercy of Bhavi. Go, Brahma. Uh, today is perhaps drama also. You should do it. Uh, that's what. Uh, no. Hare Krishna. Uh, you should make a place for drama. Hare Krishna. Some devotee has requested for initiation. So initiation is tomorrow 8.30 a.m. So who have registered their name is Jagman Prabhu. I am requesting you all who have registered their name is Jagman Prabhu. They will come to Gurudev's Bhajan Kuti 2.42, room number 242, 8 a.m. Who has not registered their name yet for initiation? Please register your name tonight is Jagman Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Only who will take initiation, they will come because the room is too small. So we do not receive all the what is there. Only who will take initiation, they will come there. Hare Krishna, whoever has found some good, go to the Gita function. Please bring it to Yakuman Prabhu or myself. Peace of the devotees here by showing the power of association with exalted devotees. One day, Maharaj Yudhisthira asked Aramuni some questions. Oh my dear Narada, you've been very kind to explain the proper behavior for Brahmacharya, Ramakas, and someone else. But I have a question. Would you kindly tell how someone in the household order of life can live Probably according to the baby conjunctions. My dear King Yudhisthira, those who stay home as householders must act to earn their livelihood. But instead of trying to enjoy the results of those actions themselves, they should offer those results to Krishna. How to satisfy Krishna in this life can be fully understood by association with the exalted devotees of the Lord. A Grihasta must associate again and again with saintly persons in order to fully understand the position of a Grihasta. The first duty of a Grihasta is to be fully dependent upon Krishna and to try to satisfy him with devotional service. This devotional service depends upon the instructions of the spiritual master. The beginning of devotional service is called Shraddha, or hearing. One must hear from the mouth of pure devotees. In this way, the attraction to his wife and children will gradually be reduced. As for the maintenance of his family, a Grihasta, while earning what is required for a living, should not be overly eager to earn more money than necessary simply for sense gratification. A Grihasta must always remember that one who is attempting to accumulate more wealth than necessary should be considered a thief and is punishable by the laws of nature. A Grihasta must treat 
all animals like his own children. And whatever he may possess, he should distribute equally to all living entities. The best process for this is to distribute the shot. A Brihasta should not be overly attached to his wife, but he should engage her in service to Krishna with all attention and to guests that come to the home. A Brihasta should only eat prasadam, and he should travel to all the places of pilgrimages mentioned in the Puranas. In this way, a Brihasta should be fully engaged in worshipping the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. My dear King Yudhisthira, a person who is surrendered to the Supreme Lord, the, the ocean of nations becomes like the water in the hoofprint of a cow. I will give you some examples of this from my own life. I existed as the Gandharva, known as Upa Vahana. I was very respected by the other Gandharvas. I had a beautiful face and a pleasing, attractive bodily structure. Decorated with flower garlands and sandalwood pulp, I was most pleasing to the women of our city. Thus, I was bewildered, always feeling lusty desires. Exalted Upavarna. There is a Sankirtan festival glorifying the Supreme Lord coming this way, and all the Gandharvas and Upsars are invited. Yes, yes. I too shall join the parade and add my beautiful voice to the rejoicing. Come, ladies, let us sing. Jaya Radhe, Jaya.
service. Therefore, you may join us in our discussions of the absolute truth and the goal of life. The jiva is by nature a servant of Krishna. Atmarati, or spiritual attachment to Krishna, is naturally present in your pure spiritual form. This attachment to Krishna is the goal of life. But one should not be complacent and think that bhakti will arise naturally of its own accord by some good fortune. Rather, one should endeavor greatly with eagerness to obtain Atmarati. First, you must give up all desire for reward-seeking activity by association with devotees. Soon, by such association, shraddha or deep faith will arise. Then you will become fit to assimilate hari kata and spiritual instruction. When such deep faith arises, you should take shelter of a Diksha Guru and receive the Sri Yugala Mantra. Having received this mantra, you should worship the Diksha and Siksha Guru with intense attachment or Atmarati. You should not be satisfied simply to offer respect to your Sri Guru Day of considering him to be a mere saint. Rather, you should serve him with love and devotion as if accepting him as if he was your dearest friend and well wisher. Once you cultivate true attachment to Harinam and the mantra given by your Diksha Guru, considering Sri Sri Radha Krishna Yugala to be your very life and soul, you should take shelter at their lotus feet. In this way, you can obtain Prema Bhakti. Now it is time to rest. We will continue your instruction tomorrow. Thus, during two seasons, the rainy season and autumn, I had the opportunity to hear these great devotees constantly chant the unadulterated glories of Lord Hari. As the flow of my devotional service began, the covering of the modes of passion and ignorance vanished. I was very much attached to those sages. I was gentle in behavior, and all my sins were eradicated in their service. In my heart, I had strong faith in them. I had subjugated the senses, and I was strictly following them with body and mind.
after that, the great Mahabhagavats left on their travels, but I remained because my mother was dependent on me as her only son. But one day, as she went to milk the cow early in the morning, a snake bit her, and she died. I took this to be the special mercy of the Lord, who was always desiring benediction for his devotees. So thinking, I started for the north.